We've got his keys. So can we just pick up his keys, right? And then rewind time. And he won't know that we took him. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Hey everyone, my name's Mike, and welcome to my playthrough of Life is Strange. At the end of the last video, we um, we had a big argument with David. And he, there he is over there. And we pretty much told him, like, we know what you're up to, you're messing with people's lives, you're not helping, you're also paranoid. And um, he didn't like that, now he's having a sulk. So um, there's a big atmosphere in the house at the moment, in Chloe's house. So I think Chloe's waiting by the front door, and we're going to get out of here. You know, clear our heads a little bit. So let's head over to Chloe. Let's speak to her. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Yeah, don't worry, I won't. Because I, I sided with Chloe in that argument as well, so... That was a choice I had to make. Can we get out of here? Yeah, let's leave. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. So that's a bit of a coincidence that Frank is at the diner, and that's where we were heading, and that's what kind of like who we want to see as well. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Alright, so we need to get Frank's keys to get inside his RV. Frank is inside the diner. We just seen him in that cutscene and I'm having a meal. Oh, Dad's text us. I don't think we've had a text from him before, have we? Oh, okay, we have, yeah. So, Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry how I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know you're upset by your, um, but your mum and I know you did everything you could to save that girl. Some things are just out of our control. And if you want to come back home to relax and maybe go high school around here, the doors open, love pop. Thanks, pop. It's been intense here, but I'm re not ready to come home. Talk later, yeah. I wonder if Max's mum and dad are still still together, but they're divorced or what? Separated. All right, let's go inside the diner. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Alright, so, there's Frank right here. Can we get his keys? How would you get his keys? I guess we can... Oh, let's just talk to him. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. What? You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Alright, so we need to learn some new information to use against Frank. And then we can get his keys? So she said speak to the cop, right? How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know... Just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Okay, so we've got quite a few things to talk about. Weird Town, Kate Marsh, David's M David Madsen. Then there's next. Nathan Prescott. Um, 
trying to find, think of what would be the most important thing to talk about, because I'm guessing a few of these things are not that important. Let's talk about Nathan, because he's in the diner as well. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Um, okay, so we can rewind there. The game suggests to, um... Because we've learned something from him that, you know, he did something with the Prescotts and now he's in their debt. So if we speak to him again... How you doing, Maxine? Skip the first Thanks, bit. Officer Barry. On that bit as I'm well. I'm glad you're representing Black... On that bit. See, now we can talk about Prescott deal instead of talking about Nathan Prescott. So if we tell him that we know something that he knows he hasn't told us, that's like... It's going to spook him and maybe make him say something else. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Go. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Okay, so now we know that he gives the um, the Prescotts extra, like, help, extra attention. So can we use this against Nathan? Somehow. Just tell me know a secret. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, I'm not Rachel! <laughs> oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. All right, um, your father, drugs for sale, Kate Marsh, then we got next. Cops information, yeah, let's use the cops information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Get off your crack. Okay. So he told us there about Frank made a blood oath for Rachel. So if we rewind time again, and we talk about that first to him, that, may, that might make him say something else again. Can we not go faster than this? Yeah, we can. Alright, so let's rewind before the conversation. I love the way Max sticks the arm out like that, like... Unlimited power! <laughs> so, um, let's speak to him again. Rachel. Skip the front bit again. And if we talk about the blood oath, here we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for, that's good. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. Right, he carries around her photo. So... Let's see if we can use anything against Frank now. What the fuck now? We can say, like, oh, Rachel's photo. So let's talk about the photo. Maybe that'll make him get upset and maybe go to his caravan. His name RV. And then we can follow him. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here. Here's his keys. That's for yourself. I've got his keys. So can we just pick up his keys, right? And then rewind time. And he won't know that we took him. 
I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. <laughs> it's, it's, you can just rewind time now. That's so cool. So he doesn't even know that he's took him out of his pocket if we rewind it far enough. Um, so let's do it to where the things in his pocket in Everton. Let's go all the way to that other circle. So we didn't even speak to the guy. Keep See? On. Now back to Chloe. So we've still got the key in our pocket. You'd think that maybe the key would come out of my pocket and go into his, because I because like I only hold myself in place. But it seems like anything I touch stays in place as well. So we've got the key. Let's head out to the RV. Oh, that girl got splashed. Um, this is the same girl with the p p p pink hair who will always get hit by stuff and we always tell her, like, move out the way. So I think we can probably do it again. It's like an ongoing thing within the series of, like, she constantly has shit going wrong and we have to try and save her. So let's just stop here, move, tell her to move. Oh, too slow. Do it, try now. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. So that's quite funny that. That's like an ongoing thing in the story where you have to keep saving that girl from getting hit by a ball that's flying through the sky or like tripping over or whatever. You just keep warning her. It's funny. So um, we got the key anyway and we're going to go to the caravan. The, I keep calling it a caravan. I don't know if, you, if Americans know it as a caravan, but that's what we call them. So we got the RV key. Let's go. What's in her hand? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Oh, I think he's got a dog inside, doesn't he? On your mark, get set. Throw. Throw towards the road. Throw it in the. Oh no! Why would I throw it in the road? When there's an option to do it in a safe place, parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. Right, let's go inside. Busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Okay, so we need to find whatever we can about Rachel. Maybe he's still in touch with her. Maybe she's not actually missing. So, um, police radar, okay. So let's see what we can find. There's a cupboard up there. Oh, gun. Presto, Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? That's Chloe, yeah, Frank took Chloe's gun off her in episode 2, so we can leave the gun, or give the gun back to Chloe. The gun's David's gun, isn't it? So I think we should take it and just try and put it back. So let's give it to Chloe. Because it is her gun. I have a terrible present for you. Ugh, an ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. I might regret this, but I can't let Frank hurt someone. You're a baseball bat? I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. I don't think there's anything else to check out on this side of the room. There's dog food, dog bowl, bottle, nothing too interesting. There's a knife. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Candy bar, high five baggies. Um, wash stand. 
crappy Wi-Fi out here. It's taking days to download the porn. Yeah. <laughs> um, graffiti. What's this? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. I don't even know what that means. Katie six Bruce three. You know, it's a score for something. I don't know. Weird. What's that on the table? Prescri prescription pills. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both. It's a blowtorch on the on the bed. I don't think we need that. He's got a Mega Drive pad on the yellow pillow. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, there's vents we can look at. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Pry it open. So, so we need like some kind of crowbar type device. <sighs> no more secrets. It's a photo there. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. All right. Um, there's another vent down there. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Okay, let's check this cupboard, see if we can find anything. Ooh, Frank's stash. Okay, drugs. Actually, wait there, there was a knife on the kitchen, wasn't there? Maybe we can use that to break into the, um, the vent. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Oh yeah, we can take the knife now, that's good. So, let's try this vent over here. Oh, the knife broke. Shit. Curses. Nothing here. So there's nothing in there. So let's rewind time. So where the knife wasn't broke. So we still got the knife. Let's try this one. My blade will open any portal. Here we go. Found something. Let's take this. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. So it's a letter from Rachel to Frank. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou, Pompadou must be the dog. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have ever I have here and I smile when I think of us together. Let us drive out of here forever. Okay, so it does sound like real love. Because I, I, um, what's his name? Chloe was saying that she doesn't believe it. It was all, like, fake. Um, she was just trying to get stuff out of Frank. But it does seem like she does actually really like him. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Okay. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Yeah, she did. They look like a couple. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Sex pictures. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. What's this one? So, what is the actual note on? It's like on a um, auto repair receipt. So, Frank, that was not cool what you did. And don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you never chill out. I've never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I took care. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Alright, so they had a little bit of us falling out right there. I don't know what he did, but she didn't like it. That's it. So, can we show this book to um, Chloe? Make her believe a bit more that they are an actual couple? It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Oh god, she threw his keys onto the roof. Should we, should we get them back to him? I don't think it really matters, does it? Oh my god, she almost hit that car. And that car, oh my god, crazy bitch. She's driving like a lunatic.
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Grow up, nobody's fault, Rachel and Frank. Um, she is being very immature, so let's tell her to grow up. Grow up? And I'm not trying to be mean, but you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh killed herself, you know? Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Um, William. Or da no, William's a real dad. David's a stepdad. I think she means a real dad. Because he, he, he left William? or died. Oh, he died. Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. So he died in a car crash on his way to pick up her mum from work. So you're still here, I can tell. Um, let's be positive again. You're still here. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Always look on the bright side of life. Diddy, do 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 do. All right then, guys. That's all we got time for for this video. So um. It looks like we're going to go back to school now as Max, and then we'll continue this in the next video. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.